As we enter our last video in this series, let's remember what we've learned, okay? We've learned that if the system is essentially going to give power from the battery through the wiring harness and the ignition switch and get it to the coil. We learned that originally coils with three ohms of resistance were used and they worked beautifully in a 12 volt system, but they could not do their job when the voltage began to fall. We learned that if we put a 1.5 ohm coil in there, she could do the job. She would do the job just fine, just like this one did. But as soon as the voltage begins to climb back up to normal system voltage again, this coil will have over 100 watts of energy running through it, and she will not stand that for very long. So we needed a system that's going to allow us to get this car to start when it's cold, in other words, to use this coil, and still not destroy the coil when the motor warmed up. The answer is in this next generation, of the same kind of car. This is the MGB for later on. Okay, now there are three changes in this. So here's our 1.5 ohm coil and she's in the car. Power from the battery runs up through the ignition switch and over it and goes to the coil just like she did before. Three changes. First, we've got a 1.5 ohm coil in here which is going to let this car start in the cold winter mornings. Second, you'll notice over here that instead of having one wire going to the coil, there are two on this side of the coil alone. If you follow this extra lead back, this blue and white one down, she's going to take us over here to the, the starter and the solenoid. Note, it's not connected to the solenoid at the top as if it was trying to get a union. It's connected to a new lead in the solenoid down below. This lead only has power when the starter comes on. So what happens is when I ignite my ignition switch and I tell the starter to come to life, the solenoid comes to life, she gives power to the starter and she gives power to this lead, which means that I'm going to get battery voltage going all the way across here and into my coil. Now, the car starts, I let go of the ignition switch, the solenoid goes to sleep, the starter goes to sleep, this blue and white wire goes to sleep, but I still have this extra wire. It's coming from the ignition switch and over, and did you notice right there this squiggly little device? This represents what's called a ballast resistor. A resistor is all, all it is is just simply going to be a way to slow down or impede the electricity's ability to get there. This resistor has a value of about 1.5 ohms, which means, and this is fascinating, if you take the 1.5 ohms from that and add it to the 1.5 ohms from the coil, they add up to 3 ohms. Our original old system coil was a 3 ohm coil. So by making this system, this 12 volt system, and pushing it through the ballast resistor and then through the 1.5 ohm coil, we are right back to where we were when the systems were brand new way back when. It works perfectly. So how does it happen? Driving along, we have normal voltage going to the coil. When I try to start the car, I get extra voltage through here. So even though voltage in this system here is going to fall, the coil will still get the power that she needs to be able to function. She's going to run perfectly on that. So what have we learned? We've learned that a ballasted ignition system is a system that has a ballast in it. A non-ballasted ignition system does not. The ballasted ignition system uses the 1.5 ohm coil because she's going to work with the ballast. The non-ballasted ignition system uses a 3 ohm coil. It's all right here. We know that a ballast is merely a bit of resistance to slow down how much energy goes in there. We've heard the terms ballasted coils and non-ballasted coils. The name is misleading. This 1.5 ohm coil is a ballasted coil, but there's no ballast in here. What it means is that it operates in a ballasted system. Okay, if, this car, if the car has a 1.5 ohm coil in it, somewhere in the car is a ballast to go with this. 1.5 with this, 1.5 with the ballast, gives us three. Any non-ballasted coil works in a system that doesn't have a ballast in it. It has its own full 3 ohms all by itself there. This is commonly referred to as a 12 volt coil because it was designed to operate in a 12 volt system. This is often called a 6 volt coil. It wasn't designed to operate in a 6 volt system, but it will fire all the way down into that voltage range, so that's why people tend to call them that. So now when you're buying parts for your car, your classic British car, and you hear these terms ballasted and non-ballasted and 12 volts and 6 volts, you know what they're talking about. You know, this is all because of the cold start package that was put in these cars back in the 60s. Thank you.